Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to more Pokemon White version. In the last episode, I've been trying to find my way out of here, and I think we're almost there. Maybe. I don't know. Bright powder. Okay, um, or maybe not. Who knows? I don't know. At this point, I'm just a little lost. But, I'm sure, <clears throat> I'm sure at some point in time, I will figure out how to get out of here. <laughs> I'm sure I will. At some point in time. Eventually. Hopefully. Hopefully. Eventually. I don't know. I really hope so, because this is ridiculous. Ow. Really? I only took one step. That is so stupid. These wild Pokemon really do not like me. They're all like, Chickadee, what you be doing up here in my home? What you be doing in my territory? I'm all like, please don't hurt me. I'm just a little girl. Please don't hurt me. I'm just a little girl. Okay, so I explored this level, and it really, there's no way to go down this way, so I'm gonna go back up and um, hopefully find another way through. Maybe. Maybe there's something I missed. I have no idea. I have no flippin' idea. So let's go back up here. If I can get up here. Um, let's go through this way, maybe. Ah, there's stairs over this way! I see! Okay, trainer, you use Pokemon. Show me your strength. Okay, sure. Why not? Yes, you have a sand dial. Happy face. That means do what can kick its butt. Happy face. Okay. All right. Uh, fight. Uh, uh, water gun. Water gun. Bye bye. Uh, a watchdog. I'll keep battling, even though I really, really hate watchdog. I really do. Like, I hate that thing so much. So let's use razor shell really quickly. And let's use razor shell again. Let's use it again really, really quickly. Good, good, good. Take it out in two hits. I'm okay with that. Alright. Yay, level 30! Happy face! Yay, happy face. I see. You're very good at using Pokemon. I know I am. I'm good at Pokemon, man. All right, so let's get the heck out of here. Let's go, 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 go. Wait a second. Wait a second. Is this the way out? Is that the way out? <gasps> Was the exit right in front of my face all the time? Like seriously? Like ser <laughs> seriously? Really, 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 really? So I was just exploring for nothing. Whoopsies. No, that's not the way out. I didn't think so. It looked like the opening to the cave at first, but I guess not. I was about to say, I'm the biggest idiot in the world. I'm the biggest idiot in the world. I'm the biggest idiot in the world. Okay, so we do have to go up these stairs. Okay, come on. Let's go. Let's get out of this stupid... What? Too nervous to battle. What kind of crap is that? What kind of crap is that? Let's get up these stairs. Let's go. Let's do this, yo! It's another stupid electric type Pokemon that I don't like in the least bit. Alright, um. Your team is too nervous to eat berries. Oh, that's what that says. Okay. Okay, that makes more sense, I guess. Um. Let's go this way first. Oh, <gasps> hi! Many different values mixed together, and the world becomes gray. That is unforgivable. I will separate Pokemon and people, and black and white will be clearly distinct. Only then will Pokemon become perfect beings. Yes, that is my dream. That is the dream I must fulfill. Lori, do you have a dream of your own? Uh, no. As if a person without a dream could ever understand me. Eh, I guess I will have to crush you here. <laughs> Whatever, bring it on. You're so lame. You are so lame. <sighs> I'm tired. I think it's nap time. Bulldor. I'm gonna guess, and uh, I'm gonna guess that's like a ground or a rock type. Yep, that's I'm guessing. Let's use let's use razor shell a couple times here. Which yeah? How about them apples? <laughs> yeah, super effective. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Iron defense. You're a cool kid. You're a cool kid. Okay. 
Do you believe that Pokemon battles help us understand one another? No, but it does get me more money. So why should I care? <laughs> I need money for Pokemon battles so I can buy potions and revives and stuff like that. Alright. Ooh, Panzer grew to level 30. Happy face. He's about to use a Joltik. Will I switch Pokemon? I have to switch Pokemon. Um, I could actually try using Pansier, but I don't know if that's the best tactic to use at the moment. Um, I'm not sure how effective fire is against electricity, although in Pokemon Red version that I did, fire seemed to do kind of well against electricity. I'll, I'll give it a shot, why not? Worst thing that can happen is Pansier dies. You know what? Who cares? Who cares? I don't care. It happens. <laughs> it happens. Alright, bring it on. Oh no, we can't eat berries. We're too scared. Let's just flame burst. What did you just do to me? Okay. Whatever, you. Huh. That's super effective. Wow! Really? What the hell you say? Let's keep battling! Really? Let's use Flame Burst again! Huh! If I had known Fire Attacks was really effective against a freaking... Well, I guess I should have thought of that in the first place. In Pokemon Red, that's what I did. I used my Fire Pokemon against the Electric Pokemon. Yes, it's very clever of me. What is wrong with me? Like, I... I don't even know. I don't even know. A Pharaoh Seed? I'll keep battling. Go ahead and use. I will show you that my love for my friends. So I don't even know. Like I couldn't read that. It goes away too quickly. Goodness. Not cool. Whatever. Bye bye. Oh darn! Did you die? I'm so sorry. That was a really easy battle. My friend's getting hurt. That's what a Pokemon battle is. Okay. Why? Is it impossible for me to win while feeling bad about being a trainer? As if I could pursue the truth with something as meaningless as a battle. As if that could make me worthy to become friends with a legendary Pokemon. Lori! Oh god, it's Bianca. Hey, Bianca, what's up, girl? Just a little further to Mistrelton... Mistrel... Wait, Mistrel Tin City. There we go. Oh, Professor Juniper! Bianca, you have good ears. I can't believe you heard Lori's voice from that far away. Lori, who is this trainer? Professor Juniper, what are you thinking? You appear to have no qualms about the relationship between Pokemon and people. You put Pokemon into categories using arbitrary rules, and you think you can understand them like that. The very idea of a Pokedex revolts me. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh my, looks like you're not my biggest fan. Your opinion is understandable. It happens to be different from mine, which is equally understandable. How about if all people get to decide for themselves how to relate to Pokemon? You're saying I should just allow people to think whatever they want and treat Pokemon however they want, no matter whether the Pokemon suffer? I refuse to tolerate the existence of a world like that. What an ass! Well... I didn't expect him to change his mind right away, but I hope he'll spend a little time trying to understand how others feel. Now then, I think I'll go collect a little more data. For Pokemon and people to get along better, we need to take steps to learn more about them. Okay, Professor Juniper, whatever you say. Um, Lori, I'm gonna go with Professor Juniper now, cause I'm her bodyguard. You're her bodyguard? Really? Okay, that's fine. That's fine by me, you can be whatever you want, Bianca. We finally made it out of this stupid cave. We need to go to Pokemon Center, like now. <laughs> we need to go to Pokemon Center, like now. Alright, heal me up. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like to heal your Pokemon? I would love to heal my Pokemon. Thank you so much for healing your Pokemon. Okay. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm going crazy. Alright, thank you for waiting. We restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Well, I don't hope to see you again for a long time, lady. Yes, I need to buy everything in your store. I need... I need... Give me a couple super potions. Give me, like, five of those. I get... Actually, I might get ten. Yeah, give me, like, ten super potions. Thank you. And give me, like, a bunch of hyper potions, too. Yeah, give me like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Can I go up to fifteen without spending too much? I can actually I can probably go up to twenty. 
goodness, they are mowing grass. Holy crap. Okay, yeah, give me 20. I want 20. Yes, give me 20 super potions. Thank you. And I'm gonna get a couple of revives while we're here. How many can I get? I can get six all together. You know, that'll work. Let's get six. Yep, six revives. Thank you. I spent all my money. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Is there anything else? No, thank you. Thank you, though. I appreciate that. Hi, person! What do you have to say? Uh, the... Uh, okay. Whatever. I don't care. Alright, so let's start exploring this town. Uh, Skyla's grandfather was a legendary pilot. Skyla is our city's gym leader. She's a really nice person. Okay, cool, cool, nice to know. Ooh, there's people in here! Hi! Our family is very fussy about Pokemon moves. Everybody calls me the, remi uh, the Reminder Girl. I know every move that Pokemon learned while they're leveling up. And I can make Pokemon remember those moves. If you bring me a heart scale, I'll make a Pokemon remember a move. Should a move be remembered? No. If any of your Pokemon needs to remember a move, bring me a heart scale. Okay, thank you. Er, who was I again? Oh, that's right. I am the move deleter. You've come to make me force your Pokemon to forget some moves. No. Alright, thank you. Trading sweethearts you receive through feeling checks is one way to get heart scales. If you show off your Pokemon to a lady in Drifvale City, you can get heart scales too. Okay, thank you. That's cool. I always wondered what those things were for. Alright, so let's go... Oh, come on. Who is that? Who is that? <laughs> oh, hey! Lori, right? Let me see your Pokedex for a moment. What do we have here? So, you found 63 Pokemon, eh? Staggering. You've seen a clink. You've become quite the trainer. Excuse me. I was a little excited and forgot my manners. My name is Juniper, too. Cedric Juniper. Huh, the professor who gave you the Pokedex is my daughter. Oh! That girl has told me a lot about you. It really makes my day to meet you. In honor of our meeting, I'm going to upgrade your Pokedex. Huh, okay, that's cool. Some Pokemon can change forms even when it's the same individual. If you have already seen a form, you can check it with whatever you want. I also added a function to make searching easier. Professor, who's that trainer? Oh, I forgot my introductions. Skyla, this is my friend, a uh, friend of my daughter's. Lori is traveling around the Unova to complete the Pokedex. Oh, I see. So that means you'll be challenging the gym. Oh boy, I'm really looking forward to it. That's right, Lori. You should challenge this gym. If nothing else, this gym is really out there. See you, Skyla. If something comes up again, I'll let you know. Professor, my plane is a cargo plane. It carries cargo, not people, and you're not talk and you're talking as if places like Kanto and Shino are right around the corner. Ah, Skyla, if you keep frowning, your face might freeze like that. And that'd be a shame. People and Pokemon, we all have to help each other out. See you later. Sheesh. It's hard to believe a happy-go-lucky guy like that could be a world-renowned Pokemon professor. Heads up, Lori. As a gym leader, I'd be happy to have you challenge the gym, but there's something I need to take care of first. Just now, as I was flying the cargo plane, I saw something on top of the Castellia Tower. I'm sure that is, uh, is a sick Pokemon. If it is, I can't just leave it there. I have to look into this right away. I'm leaving for Route 7's Castellia Tower. You can come along if you want. Alright. I would actually like to explore a little bit more. But I'll be right there eventually. Is this the gym? It's probably the gym. No, it's the cargo service. Holy crap. Is there anything, like, hidden over here? Or... Oh, this is the gym! The fl high flying girl. Okay, so electric type Pokemon's gonna be really effective against, um... Her. Good thing I have a Blitzel, huh? Pokemon and people work together to open desolate land and make a place where everyone can live. I'm certain that this cooperative spirit will remain unchanged. Okay, cool stuffs. Cool stuffs, yeah. Okay, uh, let's do a little bit more exploring. Oh, hi. It's dangerous to play in a landing strip, but you should be okay in ours. We have one cargo flight a day. Oh, oh, Pokeball! 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 I found TM58 Skydrop! Awesomeness. I will be teaching that to my bird. Bye. 
planes! They're shaped! They are perfectly designed to fly. There is no excess in the mechanisms for flying. Oh my goodness me. Alright. Let's go up this way, back this way. What is this? Uh, strewn with windblown leaves. Okay, well, what's in here? Hi, people! Hi, people! If you have a gym badge from Mistrelton, uh, I'll tell you something cool. I don't yet. Cannons! 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 Skyless gym is full of cannons! Oh, goodness me. You see field after field located near the runway. Freshly picked vegetables can be sent to faraway regions very quickly. Alright guys, so I'm actually going to go ahead and wrap this episode up. If you guys like support me, if you guys like to see more Pokemon White version, remember to leave likes, comments, favorites, all that stuff really does help me and I really do appreciate it. In the next episode, we're going to be going to Route 7 to meet Skyla and help her rescue that sick Pokemon she was talking about. So until then, I will see you guys very, very soon with more Pokemon White version. Bye guys!